Hello there. So this video, I want to talk more about the um, the first volume of Shin Ikitosen, which is mostly the prequel or the afterwards of the regular manga of Ikitosen. So I want to go more into the manga and talk more about it. Um, but before I go into this manga, I do want to talk, um, not talk, but I do want to show all the characters that been introduced, including the one in from Extra Vagasa Ipoch. So the like, characters like um Yoshisune, Benke, and then the new characters such as um Ashiya and Shimen. So those characters, the one the only been in the manga so far, and the, of course the one that already been animated or in the anime. So gonna have those in the screen. Alright, so there they've been. I already show you guys who they've been, um, who, which character I've been in the truth. I know there are like two char some characters that I still haven't figured out their name are. And there is a character, a female character that looked like Alice from Alice in Waterland. I get this feeling that she's been influenced by Alice from like, again Alice from Waterland. But her name, I believe, is Antara, because I tried to translate it in um in multiple ways and. Yeah, even though it might be her name, I couldn't find nothing in online on internet. So, because of that, I don't think she's based on nothing like any like real life character or anybody real. So I think she's just a made up character. I think that the first time ever that has really happened like that. I mean, everybody else has been based on somebody else. Um, like this is an actually a new character. At first, second, I thought Ashley too was Jubei, but actually, I think Jubei is on the cover of one of these. Hold on. Ha, let me look for it. Ha, here it is. See? Um, I thought she was Jubei for a second. That's similar, right? I thought they're like almost similar to each other. I got them mixed the first time I did a video on this. Um, but yeah, so that I wanted mission or the characters first and I want to go a little bit more into the manga so first um the, there are a few color pages in the beginning which is actually talking a little more I believe there's talking more about the history about the red cliff and such and the Makatama the dragons and some of the characters and then here we go um this character which is ah a drawing blank now. Um, was there Jinbu or Jinwoo? Jinwoo or Jinbu? I keep getting the mix. Anyway, so I'll go with Jinbu for now because it's easier for me to call her by that. Because I know when this is her Chinese name, the one her real life um, counterpart, well, this the other one is her enemy name. So the first thing I found out that she does have the bananas and watermelon, I think this is an like offering gift. Because she is um, part of the Wu Kingdom or from the Han Dynasty, and she did serve for a moment, for temporary, she did serve um, Sun Se, but she mostly did serve the younger brother, Sun Quan. So she is part of the Han Dynasty and part of the Chinese crew, I want to say. And so let's go through. So I had to have the bookmarks. So here. Here you go, um, Asaman. So, actually, it took me a while to get her name, but after a while, I did find out her name is, and she is Asaman. Um, Musab. Ah, I forgot her name again, but I just go with Asaman. So, I did find out her name. Then I couldn't find a lot of information on her, um, the person she based on, but except for the fact that she was, um, the person was like an executioner during a time. I forgot what period in Japan. Um, but yeah. 
and they actually and based on that um, part of information I was gathered in online and based on that um, like again there was like an executioner killing people for like executing she had like this violence um, she kind of violence in this anime um, like like this example how funny this is and so on and also one of oh yeah I forgot to mention this um this is gonna be a spoiler but the good thing is I gonna have the the spoiler like a sign in the beginning but yeah they're gonna be spoilers but I will have the spoiler sign in the beginning but anyway let's continue so Again, she is like quite finance. I think that had to do with her history. So I think, based on, I think I had the camera too low. Hold on. But anyway, so and another thing I want to mention. Well, they're not only they're attacking the, um, um, the crew from like the original cast. They're also attacking the like the master. Uh, I forgot his name. This was a C. I don't remember that. The old man. Anyway, so let's continue. Oh, yeah, I mentioned earlier, like in the other video, um, that I thought this girl was um, Yuki. Uh, I think it was Yuki from the three monks that were on the three pillar cut, but actually it was um, Yuki Su. I forgot Yuki Su also had like the monk costumes thing. And but yeah, I got that mixed. But anyway, so and there's the new girl. As well, um, I believe her name is Antara, as this is right here. And there's nothing else I can find out. I believe there's another conversation, and later on I will mention that also seems like that's her name. So, and she does fight Yuki soon. And I believe I could go a little bit more. Yeah, I could go a little bit more. So, here. So this is where I could easily find out her name, as you can see right there. Um, if you don't know, actually I don't know how to read this either. But um, what I could do is I could easily translate this because um, the first part I believe that's her high school name. Then saying that she's a second year. Um, then this all along this entire thing is her name. I believe this most of this is her name. Then this is her rank. She's a special A rank. Like um in the manga, the ranks are very important to them. Where in the anime, they're not really getting to it until the OVA, which I don't mention the S rank and such. Mostly because the like again the mangas they're very important. <clears throat> Hold on, sorry about that. My throat was getting dry, so I'll drink some water. Anyway, so um what I was saying is that um so in the anime, they really didn't mention anything or they didn't really make the ranks big deal with the anime and the manga they do so she's a special in ring um a same one and other people that are a special in ring also are like shiryu um kyosho um um fuck his name the, he's a guy from kyosho um he has the sunglasses he's like blondish dark skin also he was partnered with um Tenny to, to serve underneath um Shibai. I forgot his name is I forgot his name is. But yeah, and Kanu was also used to be special in rank, but then she became S rank. So yeah, so mostly each time they introduce a character when they fight, when they introduce themselves, they all introduce themselves by their year, the school, the year, the rank, and their name and such. So that how I easily can find out her name is by and such. And then here we more. Um and let's see we go and here's more things and she does fight in a fighting in Shiryu. And again um hold on. Sorry about that. Um so again we is fighting Shiryu and like I said right about where is it? Ah there it is. See again 
she reintroduced herself, her name, and her school and second year also special evening. So that's how I can easily find out their character's name. And also sometimes I find out the character name by this, because this tells you like the history of some characters, especially like this is mostly about Kanu, um, Kanu Unchos, then there's her name, or that or his name, but yeah. Anyway, so another thing only on yeah, the we are like a small preview of the fight between Kanu and um, Kanu and Chimen Takeso or Musashi. I know she has multiple names based on the history. Anyway, so back to the fight of Shiryu and so one thing I want to mention is that um. In the manga, there was a fight between Chiryu and and Kanu, and Chiryu actually did a oh not Chiryu Kanu made like a illusion where Chiryu saw herself getting split in half. When some reason Chiryu did the same thing what she experienced to a Seiman, and that which is a Seiman getting split in half. So for some reason it seemed like Chiryu picked up the technique that Kanu used against. Her. Um, against her to using it now using it on her. Not only that, the next page we see this, and this is almost the same technique um Chibe used against Chiryu and their fight. So it seems like Chiryu is actually learning like new techniques from the um on her previous fight against Chibe and from Kanu. But the manga fight uh, Kanu and Chiryu is different than the manga the fight in their fight than the anime and I want to say the manga fight is way 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 better it's more extense there's a lot more story behind that fight and it's more I want to say more brutal also because it's of course it's the manga so the manga is more could be more brutal than the anime so yeah and just a few things I want to mention I think just a few more things Oh, yeah. So again, there's a reduction. Um, here, um, I do want to mention this. See, her that name, the kanjis and things. I believe I'm not sure if I mentioned this before. I lost the page, but I think I'm not sure if I forgot to mention this or not. But this pre up here, like when she first appears, um, she appear first time she appeared against Yukisu, that the first kanjis and um, I would say Katakana that is said, um, which I believe that was her name. And when I um, translate it, it's like Indara. Indara. So when I decided to do with this entire thing, translate all this here in this conversation. Um, this part seems kind of weird, but this again translate to Indara. And this part mostly saying, um, according to like trans Google's translate, are you Google's translate, but just to translate this part, it was saying that she she used playing cards, like she used playing cards. The I'll say, um, is it? Um, I didn't translate this part because this was really too much. But um, I forgot what this means. But something then her name then she then this go on saying that she she plays she used um, playing cards. So yeah, so assuming that is her name, but again I couldn't find nothing on her on online. So I'm thinking she is a, like an original character, not actually based on nobody. And one more thing I want to mention, I'm not sure if this is already um, popped up. Hold on. But yeah, she actually like dominates the like the fight between her and Shiryu. Here we go. The same guy that I don't know his name. Even when I try to translate this stuff right here, um, one of them actually is. I tried to translate one of these. One was actually I forgot that one of them is Himiko. The other one was mentioning the swords, I believe, the heel cut. Um, anyways, and again right there, Endara. So assuming that it's her name, but again I couldn't find nothing online. So assuming that is her name, if it is her name, she's actually like an original character for the first time I would say. Because Himiko is actually based on someone. 
from Japan, but also related to the Han Dynasty. So that kind of interesting. And but this guy, I still need to find out his name. I know all of these are here. Well, I couldn't find nothing and unless I need to check again. But yeah. Uh, here's the E rank. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I forgot to say. Um. But yeah. Anyway, so few more things I want to mention. There is actually one more. A uh, one more thing I actually want to mention. There is one more dragon in that series. Or one more dragon to in this one more dragon in the series mostly. Um, actually, probably there's more, but and that dragon actually is another water dragon. And this is and the first time I thought it was Himiko, because Himiko actually had the Makatama of Hakufu, and Hakufu is the element of the water also. But and she did use to, to control of the water when she fought against Soso. Of course, that was only in the manga, not in the anime, sadly. But um, so I thought that was also the same case in the. Um, okay, let's see if there's. I think I passed it. Um, anyways, um, so here we go. But then she passed out. There it goes. There's a page where the water stops. There's like water. And then you know this is, is a water dragon. Um, another water dragon. And this is actually Jin Wu. Again, I'm not sure Jin Wu is her name or Jin Wu. I think Jin Wu is her. I won't say probably Jin Wu. But anyway, so Jin Wu is actually controlling the water and she actually has a water dragon also. And I like same similar to Hakufu, Soso, and Ketoku. Um, before they learn how to control their dragons, she lose control to hers, and well, things goes out. Um, she goes like a rampage, and things become brutal. And yeah, also I want to mention that um, her cards. Um, um Okay, let me get that. Okay, so her cards, um in Dara cards uh, actually um actually is made of like glass. Cause zoom right there is her ants are actually getting cut. And the next page, I think it's in the next page or somewhere in the page. Well down here. You can see that when she crush it, the um, it breaks in pieces. So Endara actually, her cards are actually made of glass or something like that. They actually could cut people. Well, like in the anime series, I'll call Yu-Gi-Oh, where people can beat up other people or use card what um Yu-Gi-Oh -Oh cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards as weapons. And they are even though they're made of paper, for some reason Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the anime and Yu-Gi-Oh anime, they are like deadly. Even though they are made just paper, for some reason they can knock up knock down people with um, playing cards but yet this makes sense though because end dollar cards are assuming they're made of glass or something because her hand was being cut and again when she smashed it it, it broke into pieces so yeah and then again they're like a stare down uh, with Himiko and Shibu and they're like a flashback of the of the past so uh, mostly it on a mission and of course she goes on a rampage like I say and they actually take some people to stop her. So that is it and um I wanted to do just do this to more like a more detailed update of the manga. And mostly that is it. And I'm probably want to do the same thing for the rest of the manga because I never did that for the rest. Like for the previous mangas. But I might do it in the future or not. So but I'll think about it. Anyways, so thank you for watching. I know this is very long. If you watch this all, I'm really happy you did. So anyway, so till next time. Alright, bye.